15 first alert weather forecast. Well, I hope you were able to soak up that sunshine that we enjoyed. At least most of us did. The farther north you live, the more uh, stubborn the clouds were. And they're starting to build back in at this hour. Coming in from the west, maybe some higher cloud cover for now. But they are going to thicken up as we go through the overnight hours. And with the sunshine, our temperatures achieved pretty uh, good numbers for us here today. Freezing to the upper 40s for Eau Claire. But also here you notice where those clouds stuck around for the, the longest period this afternoon. With even only a high of 39 for Ladysmith and a few uh, uh, more lower 30s over there. Certainly a lot milder farther towards the south with a few 50s down in, uh, towards the Coolia region. Also right now, the temperatures are still pretty mild. Of course, the clouds uh, linger, uh, 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 making sure that our temperatures are not dropping too far at this hour. Some lower 30s towards the north, still plenty of 40s across the Coolia region. So certainly uh, pretty mild out there. You're not gonna need a very thick winter coat if you're heading out the door tonight. Now, as we go into the overnight hours, we're going to continue to look out towards the west with a weak disturbance that is moving through parts of the Dakotas and, and Nebraska as we speak. But you can see it's starting to fizzle out a little bit as it moves uh, further towards the east. That's all thanks to high pressure that is sitting over eastern South Dakota and western Minnesota. And with that, uh, that's really going to hamper that uh, development for that system as it moves closer to us. So even though we do have the clouds from the system through the overnight tonight, not expecting anything in terms of accumulation coming out of this system. So we're going to remain dry tonight. The winds are going to be a little bit variable, but generally changing from northwest to northeast through the overnight. And they're going to be light as well with a low right around freezing or just below freezing, at least for uh, Eau Claire here. So here's a look at the cloud cover moving in for the overnight tonight and tomorrow morning. It's going to be cloudy, but there may be some breaks in the clouds. Also for tomorrow afternoon, it's going to be cloudy in general, but there may be a few peaks of sunshine into the afternoon. It's certainly not going to be as nice as it was for us here today, but I'm not going to completely call it a cloudy day for the day tomorrow. As we go into the evening, a round of new clouds start to arrive with a little bit of energy coming in from the south, even some rain down uh, moving out of uh, Iowa for the most part. It should stay to the south, but some models want to bring it a little bit farther north with also the chance for some sprinkles into the Eau Claire area tomorrow evening. So I don't want to rule that out completely. It's certainly a possibility, but it's not going to be a big rainy event or anything. Also for our southern areas, just some light rain showers. That's probably the most we're going to see out of this. Also into Monday morning, still have some rain showers. Uh, and moving in, but even some snow in parts of southeastern Minnesota. It's moving a little bit farther north, but you'll see that the main energy still stays further towards the south. So that precipitation up north does not have a really good chance of developing. So even on Monday, we're looking at maybe a few light showers uh, for Eau Claire, but certainly the bulk of the precipitation chances stay to our south and don't get too fooled by the blue on this map. Pretty sure we're going to see mostly rain coming out of this. With that, temperatures are going to be right around average for the next few days. Also for our Easter tomorrow, with highs mainly in the upper uh, 40s. So pretty comfortable for here for the next few days. But it's going to get even more comfortable as we go into the rest of next week. With still the chance for maybe some rain on Monday. But as soon as we start to dry out there, we're going to see the winds start to pick up. Uh, for uh, the middle portion of next week, especially Wednesday, but certainly after that, once we get through that, the sun is going to come out in full force Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and every day we're going to get a few degrees there to our high temperatures, reaching to the 50s and 60s as we go into next weekend. I love seeing all those sun little graphics. Yeah. It's so exciting. Especially with a little bit more cloudy days coming up here for tomorrow and Monday, especially. I think the sun and, of course, the warmer temperatures are going to be really nice out here. Yes, we definitely have something to look forward oh, yes. to. Thanks yeah. so much, Kevin.